we have here uh, Xiaomi Mi Gia G1 bot. So we start by simply taking out all of the accessories. Let's take out also the that makes it a lot easier to open. First we take off the brushes. Several others will demand a more gentle approach. This really demands a very delicate approach. Better be kept on the side with the screws inside so they don't get lost. And we need to also take out the ribbon here. Okay. So the major G1 is open and the board is accessible. And this is the problem. When the battery is connected, the motor of the brush rotates non-stop. This is not supposed to happen if I connect the battery. See? Motor rotates. Alright, so this is the board out of the bot. And our problem is the two transistor right here. We need to replace them. We need to start by taking them off. We'll use an hot air gun at 350 degrees. The reason we need so much because this is a high temperature weld. Ten seconds should be enough. Let's take the other one off as well. Usually the temperature for taking stuff off a PCB is 150 degrees. But this will not work here. Because this is a high temp sold. But it does come off. So we need to solder a new transistor instead. In fact, we need to solder two new transistors instead. What we need is something that we hold in place while we solder. Let's say lasers. And 
We need also a very hard to render. And a little bit of soldering iron, but... Okay. Other two sides. This I can add a little bit of soldering iron. Okay, you got to admit the wells look pretty good. Now I need to do the other one, which comes here. Second one, first I need to place it carefully. Looks like this wells are okay. Two transistors welded. And yeah, the wells look like they will hold. I wouldn't call it the best weld in the world, but it's okay. Should work. Now we need to reassemble the robot and see that it works. Well, as you can see, it's connected. Let's check. Apparently the problem has been solved. The question is, has it been solved because the MOSFETs have been replaced and now they're blocking the current as they should? Or has it been solved because the new MOSFETs simply don't work? Which could also be uh, the reason why it's solved, probably. So the only way to check if it's really solved is to reassemble the robot and try to operate it. Okay. So obviously it works. 